It's a crime the likes of which Northeastern and Central Pennsylvania perhaps has never seen before. A home invasion art heist. And the victim is a former journalist who actually wrote about the artist behind the paintings that were stolen. Eyewitness News reporter Mark Hiller is covering the case. He joins us now in the Control Center. Mark. Candace and Nick, the burglar or burglar struck as the homeowner slept. Now state police are on the hunt for the person or persons behind this home invasion art heist. When they went inside, they knew exactly what they were looking for. There was other items in there that could have been taken, but when they went in, they knew what they were looking for. They got in and they knew what was valuable. Eight paintings by the artist F.T. Brockenshaw, commonly known as Brock, are now in the hands of a thief or thieves. The artwork, valued at $1,500 to $15,000 each, was stolen early Tuesday morning in Madison Township from a home on Aberdeen Road. The 85-year-old homeowner was sleeping at the time and had his hearing aids out, so he never heard the home invasion. The victim could have startled the, the thief when he was in there, and then it could have got worse from there. The victim, Daniel Cusick, was a newspaper journalist for more than five decades. He even wrote a 1972 biography about Brock, which included illustrations of some of the now stolen paintings. That's why I've installing cameras and everything today. The art heist upsets David Gillette, who owns an auto repair shop down the road from Cusick's countryside home. He's concerned a man who's a longtime friend has become a victim of what he considers a big city crime. Now it's starting to come into the area. You know, you just, you just hear it you know, different things. And it's more than just artwork state police say was swiped. The intruder or intruders also made off with roughly a thousand dollars worth of silver silverware, a 22 caliber rifle, and even the victim's car. State police say that car could help them pick up the art thieves trail. It was a red Toyota Solera. If someone encounters this vehicle and it looks suspicious, there is a weapon there. So if don't approach it, call authorities immediately. State police say they want to hear from you if you have any information at all that can help. You can reach them at the Dunmore Barracks or call 911. In the Control Center tonight, Mark Hiller, Eyewitness News. Mark, thank you. And state police say the painter Brock concentrated most of his work in the Bethel Woods, New York area. And troopers say that they will work with New York state authorities to see if the crime is connected out of state.